the question is suppose the predicate f x y t is used to represent the statement that person x can fool person y at time t okay so x is person x y is person y and t is some time okay so at which this person x is fooling person y so person x can fool y at time t which one of the following statement below expresses the meaning of the formula this thing okay then we are giving this logical formula all right so i'm going to rewrite this logical formula and then we will see that what it actually means and which of these options is correct choice so so what i have out here is for all values of x there exists y and there exists t and then i have this negation of f x comma y comma t okay so this is what i have and and these are the options okay and if you look at these options yeah, in most of the options it is talking about can fool can fool can fool and one time it is talking about cannot fool so it's better to have it in the form can fool because then we have better chances of examining our options okay and when you have this negation so it becomes cannot fool so what we should try to do is we should try to bring this negation out okay and step by step when you bring this negation out so what happens is so this is fine and when you take this negation out of this out of this and it goes out here okay so your negation is going to be placed at this position what it becomes this becomes for t okay this is the standard theorem that you know this negation changes there at this there exists to for all and for all to there exist so and inside this you will be left with just this much okay and you can you can keep on doing this okay your negation will now come here okay so you you do this and then what do you have you have for all values of y okay your negation is here okay just I'll rewrite it so that it looks better so what do you have for all values of x okay for all values of x you have your negation here and this is for all values of y for all values of t for all t and then this whole thing is just copied down as earlier and then in the last step the final step this thing should finally go here and then this becomes a negation okay and now this time you have for all x so this will become there exist x so there exists x for all y for all t and f x comma y comma t okay so now okay we have these things and different forms and one of them should work for us okay we have we had we started with this form we have this form we have this form and we have this form and one of these should be totally fine so what does this thing tells us okay this thing tell us tells us that it is not the case okay with this negation you say that it is not the case that there is some person x that can fool all persons at all time okay because this f is x can fool y at time t and when you say there exists x so you're talking about there is at least some guy x so there is some guy x and which can and in the beginning you should have it is not the case okay so it is not the case that there is some guy x that can fool all the persons at all the times because you have for all here and for all here so if it is not the case that that means that there is no such guy that can fool everyone all the time Okay, so if you look at this one, so no one can fool everyone all the time. Okay, so there is no such guy who can fool everyone at all the time because you have this negation here and that means your option B is correct.